My name is Janet Warren. I am the Distribution Coordinator for the Instructional Materials and Educational Technology Division. This presentation is about getting your disbursement request approved on the first try. Part 2 is on Technological Equipment and Technology Services Disbursements. Districts and open enrollment charter schools may request an allotment disbursement in EMAT to order instructional materials not available in EMAT, instructional materials available in EMAT in a different configuration, such as a different price, package, or just purchasing a component, technological equipment, and technology services. From your EMAT start page, you will click on the allotment disbursement link. To create a new disbursement, you will click on the next link. You will select a disbursement type from the drop-down menu. There are three types, instructional materials, technological equipment, and technology services. We will go through a technological equipment disbursement field by field. Click on the magnifying glass to choose a disbursement category. Then select a disbursement category. Your options are calculators, desktop, ebook reader, equipment support, laptop, mp3 player, response system, shipping cost, tablet, and whiteboard. The equipment support category will have items such as document cameras, tablet cases, charging carts, printers, wireless access points, and specialty bulbs for document cameras and projectors. Most of the categories in the technological equipment disbursement will have the same fields. The only difference will be in the calculator disbursement category, there will be an additional field to enter the model number. For the product description, enter a description of the product being purchased. Include the model name and or number. For grade level, click on the magnifying glass to choose the grade level of the students using this product. Then enter the number of students who will be using this product in the number of students served field. For primary use, choose the subject area from the drop down menu. The manufacturer, you will enter the name of the manufacturer or the company the product is purchased from. Assistive technology, select yes or no from the drop down menu. For quantity and unit price, you will enter the quantity and unit price of the product. The extended amount will be calculated for you. Now we will look at a technological services disbursement field by field. You will click on the magnifying glass to choose a disbursement category. Select the disbursement category. Your options are contracted services, professional development, salary, and shipping costs. A contracted service that is not used for instruction should be in the contracted services category. If a contracted service is for an instructional purpose, the disbursement should be in the instructional materials category. Some examples would be Brain Pop, Study Island, Teeks Resource System. These are site licenses for instructional materials. In the contracted services, the first field is the vendor field. You will enter the vendor that is providing the service. In the service description, you will enter a detailed description of the service being provided. Then for service audience, you will choose the service audience from the drop down menu. Enter the quantity and unit price for the service. The extended amount will be calculated for you. For the professional development category, you can request funds for professional development provided by the vendor or publisher and conference registration fees. Travel and lodging are not allowable IMA expenditures. For the professional development category, the first field is vendor. You will enter the vendor that is providing the professional development. For the service description, you will enter a detailed description of the service being provided and choose the service audience from the drop-down menu for the service audience field. 
Enter the quantity and unit price for the professional development, and the extended amount will be calculated for you. The IMA may be used to pay the salary and other expenses of an employee who provides technical equipment or instructional support that contributes to student learning. You will submit this three times per year on November 30th for September, October, and November salaries, on February 28th for December, January, and February salaries, and on May 31st or the end of the contract date for the remaining months. Salary disbursements will always be provided as a reimbursement to the district's payroll account. Include the dates of service in the disbursement request. In the first field, you will enter the dates of service. Enter a detailed description of the service being provided in the service description field. Then choose the service audience from the drop-down menu for the service audience field. Enter the quantity and unit price for the salary. The extended amount will be calculated for you by the EMAT system. If you have questions or need assistance, please contact the Instructional Materials and Educational Technology Division at 512-463-9601 or by email at instructional.materials at tea.texas.gov.